With what? Um, I poked the bear today. I sent this project uh, that 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 it's called the Pico Brew. And I, I did. I, I saw that, I, and it was weird. I've been seeing a lot of tech information on Forbes. Yes, um, and that's actually where I picked up this story first. So, can you describe the Pico Brew to me? So, from from what I read earlier, the Pico Brew is pretty much the Keurig of home beer brewing. Brewing, not not just well, it was still brewing, yes, but it's it's a little more than what you get with a, a Keurig K-cup, that's for sure, right? <laughs> so Yes. Or, or is it, I think, you, you, were, you can, were you trying to compare it to the... The soda stream a little bit. The soda stream. <laughs> so basically, it, it, it seems that you get a, a yeast pack of a certain sort. Uh, and then from there, you actually have a uh, recipe system. So you'll get a recipe for a kind of beer, and then it brews it, which is a long, long process. As microbrewing people know, uh, you know it's it's kind of a complicated thing. We talk about chemistry. Yeah, this is kind of chemistry uh, to to get this get this to happen. And uh, yeah. go ahead. I was gonna say, isn't it isn't it a month or more typically? <laughs> Did to I brew? read that? It, it's a month. <laughs> so I, it's really it, it, it's not like I think it's going to partially simplify things a little bit that there's a machine that'll do it for you, but then it just sits there for a while, and then that's a about it and then you have beer okay all right i got you now of course uh with any beer uh type story we uh we made sure to tag our good buddy doug durda of should i drink this.com fantastic beer podcast you should be listening to it if you're a bureaophile is that the word is a bureaophile i'm guessing it's probably not it's probably like hopophile hopophile or... craft craft beer light maybe um <laughs> but anyways uh he had a lot of comments on this. Uh, he says, for instance, let me let me get all of his replies here. Uh, I like the marketplace concept and how it's laid out. Uh, one thing seriously lacking with homebrew supply websites is decent UX and UI. I guess people are willing to pay eight hundred dollars for a baby stroller. There's a market for this also. Uh, it's already raised hundred thousand dollars over its goal in thirty four days ago. Good lord, they have some respectable sponsors attached also, including the American Homebrewers Association. So that's really impressive. Um, they have white labs on board with the East packs. The video on the Kickstarter page is really well done. I agree with that. We're showing that a little bit here on the video version of the show. Um, this is like buying a Keurig, dropping in a Starbucks K cup and calling yourself a barista. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's kind of expensive for what it is. Uh, he can't see anyone who, who starts with that wanting to get into home brewing when they realize the time and energy it takes. So, I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, again, I don't understand the beer market to begin with. Um, that's that's where Doug and I think he gave us some pretty interesting. Um, but they do have commercial operations like Rogue, Dogfish Head, and Elysian. Uh, so I think this is that fancy thing that you get um, when you want to kind of home brew and you have way too much money and uh, and and not enough. A lot of time and effort. To or is it, it where you don't? Because I, I, I think a lot of home brewers it takes up a lot of space, much more yes. space than this device takes up. Yes. And maybe maybe that's where because you connect a mini keg to this. I don't know. Right, because it looks like it, this is the like I want to be a home brewer, but I just want to put it in in the corner space of my spacious uh, countertops in the kitchen. I think. So, I mean, really interesting concept. Technology in the home brewing, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, but I thought it was that. Thank you. Thank you, Doug Durda. Again, should I drink that.com? Go check out his podcast uh, if you have a little more uh, interest in the beers. 